Well, Vivek gets really upset about being asked if he condemns white supremacy because if he were to actually say he condemns white supremacy outright, uh, that would alienate him from pretty much all of the right wing base. But you condemn white supremacy. I'm not. I'm not going to recite some catechism. For you. I'm against vicious racial discrimination in this country, so I'm not pledging allegiance to your new religion of modern wokeism, which absolutely fits, fits the test. I'm not going to bend the knee to your... Uh, wokeism being a re religion, that's just hilarious. I love how right-wingers claim everything that they don't like is a religion. Religion. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you to bend the knee to mine, and I'm not going to bend the knee to yours. But do I condemn vicious racial discrimination? Yes, I do. Am I going to play your silly game of gotcha? I mean, if he truly condemned uh, racism, he wouldn't be such a hardcore right winger. No, I'm not. And frankly, this is why people have lost trust. And I know you're going to go print the headline tomorrow. I already know this. We already know how your game works. Vivek Ramaswamy refuses to condemn white supremacy because you asked a stupid question. The reality is... I but what's so stupid about being asked if you're against white supremacy or not. I condemn vicious racial discrimination in this country, but the kind of vicious and systematic racial discrimination we see today is discrimination on the basis of race in a very different direction. You want to know what the best way is to end discrimination on the basis of race? Stop discriminating on the basis of race. Do that. <laughs> right, coming from a guy on the right wing who entire base discriminates against people based upon race or religion or sexuality or something else. And we're going to move this country forward. And I don't care whether you're black or white or brown or anything in between. That's how we're going to unite this country. You people have been responsible for dividing this country to a breaking point, creating a projection of national division. I meet people from the south side of Chicago to meetings like this one of, of every shade of melanin, multiple from man, man to woman, doesn't make a difference, who are hungry for reviving unity in this country. And you with your catechism. And the right wing isn't the one to bring about unity in the United States when all they do want is white supremacy. ...that you try to get to politicians to whatever fake headline you're going to print on the basis of this conversation tomorrow. That's what's dividing this country for a break, to a breaking point. Shame on you. Look people in the eye and tell them what you've actually failed to tell them for the last five years.